so you can see even in the state uh, uh, initiatives now in tamil nadu there are many initiatives being taken uh, like non modulvan and uniform curriculum in higher education and uh, so many other initiatives being taken in tamil nadu are also indirectly uh, uh, following the toe of the national education policy 2020 one is it is market driven sir another one is they try to indoctrinate through education sanatan dharma i don't mind i don't shy away from uh, discussing or deliberating the national education policy 2020 within the committee we, we are bound to discuss also i have no problem uh, there is a little correction that uh, <clears throat> i'm not blaming the state uh, it is the committee um the state i don't know i'm not aware that whether the state is involved in doing that uh, i cannot comment on it hello welcome to news clip the dmk led tamil nadu government had rejected the center's new education policy 2020 and formed a committee to formulate a distinct state education policy sep for tamil nadu in june 2022 professor l jawahar nesan a member com convener of the high level committee to draft the sep resigned on may 10 2023 citing frequent interferences by certain higher officials in the state government we have with us professor nesan today uh, thank you sir thanks a lot for joining us uh, thank you ms shruti thank you for inviting me so uh, can you start by telling us uh, the state had rejected the nep and formed a committee to formulate the alternate and mm-hmm. you are part of it but you are alleging the state is also formulating the scp similar to the nep uh, what exactly is this conflict sir uh, there is a little correction that uh, <clears throat> i am not blaming the state uh, it is the committee um, the state i don't know i am not aware that whether the state is involved in doing that uh, i cannot comment on it but as i was part of the uh, the main committee uh, the high level committee you know formulating the policy <clears throat> i i found that there are the moves and uh, deliberations and uh, the incidents that happened uh, all together i could collectively uh, feel that uh, it is not heading towards formulating a distinct education policy for the state and it is uh, being diverted uh, and uh, and trying to incorporate um, the few major ideals of Uh, the national education policy not just only national education policy but the i would say whatever you call it like anti people policy uh, like corporate uh, policy or uh, driven by uh, some vested uh, uh, elements of the society so that is why i found that <clears throat> uh, this is the case with the uh, within the committee and um, there were not much deliberations happening within the committee uh, as regards the distinct uh, uh, policy for the state so that is why i thought that it is not heading towards uh, the direction it is supposed to so uh, what were the clauses of the nep you asked to include in the draft uh, uh, state education policy and why do you think that uh, including these clauses were problematic no it is it is not like uh, um, literally the clauses or the uh, recommendations of the nep uh, that are uh, drawn in the uh, state education policy i i i i'm not trying to uh, uh, portray a situation where uh, literally these are the uh, particular recommendations incorporated in it uh but <clears throat> the deliberations happening within the committee and the way the manner in which i was dragged into the bureaucracy and uh, the way i was treated and compelled and pressurized by the bureaucracy and uh, the agenda being taken in the deliberations of the uh, policy the high level committee and all were fostering uh, the national education policy so uh if if we uh, go along with that it would end up only with uh, the replica of national education policy and uh, 
I'm not against the national education policy. Uh, dis- I'm not against discussing the national education policy within the committee. But why I was uh, worried was that why there is a need for uh, the bureaucratic elements uh, invited and involved in in uh, uh, in making the policy decisions, and that too uh, with reference to the national education policy. Uh, so. There are a lot of policies all around, uh, you know, for the past 75 years of independent India, we have created. So all policies deserve uh, some uh, deliberations and uh, we have to consider all those policies. And if there are any uh, good elements uh, there, we cannot shy away to incorporate them and consider them for implementing or incorporating in the state education policy. But deliberately why you avoid all those policies and only discussing uh, this national education policy in particular at every stage uh, of the deliberations in the uh, high level committee that is my worry and uh, uh, the other thing is it is uh, uh, backed by it is supported by the bureaucracy is another thing so that means that a policy if it is to be distinct for the state and uh, the distinct problems associated with attributed to the state, uh, the social conditions, the economic conditions, and the the educational functions of that particular state, and uh, the merits and demerits, and uh, the all other conditions should be consumed first. And with reference to that local conditions, then you have to draft, uh, uh, identify the policy alternatives, and choose the best alternative that fits well uh, to the state. And when if you ignore all these things and only uh, you are uh, just blindly ta- uh, discuss about the various aspects of the national education policy as the main agenda, then how are we going to create a distinct education policy that would really uh, resolve the long pending problems in the state as regards to education? So these are the uh, main um, contentions. I, 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 I was uh, at every time I had submitted uh, all my uh, reports, and I submitted about 132 pages problem statement, long way back, and uh, that was not discussed at all, not deliberated at all. But I would say that though it was not deliberated, the high level committee considered it as a guiding document that I appreciated. But what I wanted was how to, we have to discuss, you know, whatever I submit, it cannot be blindly, uh, uh, you know, endorsed. So we have to discuss it and seriously um, involve those of yours, right or wrong. We can, I'm not, I'm open to change um, my ideas or whatever the things that I laid out in the documents I submitted. So that means, the, the problem statement I submitted to the committee was not discussed. Uh, and in turn, uh, instead, the, uh, the national education policies are placing or uh, the recommendations in that NEP 2020 uh, have been found uh, recurrently in many of our discussions. And uh, that also have been uh, supported uh, by the bureaucracy. So these are the major Things. It is uh, altogether uh, driven in the interest of uh, 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 the, the certain ideals uh, on which the NEP is working now, like privatization, commercialization, and uh, sovereignization. So these are the, the major uh, elements, the thrust in the national education policy, though it may not be uh, explicit, but uh, it is implicit that they are uh, this is the main agenda behind it. So you can see even in the state uh, uh, initiatives now in Tamil Nadu, there are many initiatives being taken, uh, like non modulvan and uniform curriculum in higher education. And uh, so many other initiatives being taken in Tamil Nadu are also indirectly uh, uh, following the toe of the National Education Policy 2020. And uh, they may have uh, a right intent uh, in doing so in the state, but eventually it will end up with uh, the uh, the ulterior motive of the national education policy 2020. So, for instance, 
you know uh, when uh, if you uh, adopt the abc the academic bank of credit the multiple entry exit and um, the other uh, the privatization uh, uh, and and the, and the progressive uh, uh, relief uh, of uh, the uh, the governments from uh, the educational responsibilities these are the major uh, focus of national education policy 2020 and that is what happening also uh, partially in tamil nadu as well so that means that is going to be reflected in the national in the state education policy that is how it is going along so that means this shows uh, that the majority of the people are going to be uh, will be deprived of uh, their educational rights um, and by doing so the uh, educationally and uh, socially uh, backward Uh, people of tamil nadu will be largely affected and they will be prevented from progressing in the education and uh, this is supported by the uh, by by the commercialization and market forces so the market forces are playing a major uh, role in this in all the implementation in implementation of uh, both the nep and the state uh, educational initiatives now Uh, being taken by tamil nadu also you could see that a large influx of the outsiders like uh, the market and the ngos uh, who are uh, playing a major role now and it looks like uh, while after some period then it will be left to only the 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 society and the other dominant players outside so that means that the state is the state or the uh, union government is progressively relieving itself from its responsibility of providing a just education to the people of uh, the country and the state so these are all the uh, the result of um, the government's decision to adhere to the world trade organization that uh, wto's gats agreement which uh, were directly uh, you know emphasized and stipulated the the constituent states uh, to uh, to privatize education and to uh, progressively uh, uh, relieve the states from the educational responsibilities so that is what is happening on the other hand the result of the national education policy is going to uh you know uh, uh, inculcate the kind of uh, the sanadana dharma uh, which has been uh, the the ideal of uh, the right wing uh, establishment and they that, that that they try to inculcate through various forms so these are all practically going through uh, even in curriculum formation pedagogies and uh, teaching learning and uh, textbooks formation you can see there are Uh, hundreds of examples going on how they uh, distort history and how they distort even science the science also being distorted so that is uh, progressively going in a rapid manner all across the country and uh, so this the tamil nadu state education policy should resist it should uh, uh, should uh, ensure that all these uh, anti people uh, policies or recommendations uh, should be outright rejected but nowhere in the in the committee's deliberations or in its manifestations i could notice uh, such attitude uh, uh, against the national education policy or in making the state education policy on its own so these are the major things one is it is market driven sir another one is they try to indoctrinate through education sanatana dharma and then the uh, the r- ruling establishment wants to make its own citizenry and that is the national education policy and that national education policy in no way is going to be different from the state education policy because the in all the deliberations the state education committee uh, the policy making committee has been uh, at the end of the day end up with only the national education the the constraints and limitations and recommendations fostered in the national education policy so that means that without deliberating the state's uh, own conditions without deliberating the state's uh, problems the challenges uh, in the rest of the 21st century we cannot make uh, a justifiable uh, education policy for the to prepare the people for the 21st century so this is my main contention 
and within the committee and also outside the committee with the bureaucratic uh, you know uh, collusion uh, this committee is uh, has been diverted uh, from its task of making a distinct policy so that is the main reason for me that uh, single handedly i have been you know trying to correct for the last 11 months and at the end of the day then when it went beyond my control and with all aggressions uh, bureaucratic aggressions and uh, even the committee's failure to correct itself then i had to exit and uh, uh, and i have to now support even that main committee to do what it was ordered to do based on the terms of reference of course uh, the, the the bureaucrats are uh, trying to influence the uh, uh, the policy making in the state um, actually the committee has been uh, ordered uh, to uh, given the task and the committee is supposed to deliberate whatever i don't mind i don't shy away from uh, discussing or deliberating the national education policy 2020 within the committee we are, we are bound to discuss also i have no problem but the problem is if it is uh, in, if it is aggressively pushed in the agenda of the state education policy deliberations and uh, when majority uh, fall in line then i fear i'm worried you know, whether uh, people of the state uh, will get justice that is the problem okay sir uh, thanks a lot for joining us and uh, for detailedly explaining uh, all that has happened uh, so since the uh, committee was formed and your contribution in it uh, thank you sir uh, thank you ms shruti